Angus? Uh, I'm sorry, do, do I know you, ma'am? Of course you do, son, it's me, Raw! Oh, right. Right. No, uh... No, you, uh, you don't know me. No, um... I, uh, I just heard... Your name called out by somebody when you were storming out of the cage uh, like Wild Mustang. <laughs> Careful, Angus. Uh, don't do nothing foolish, Angus. And so, uh, that doesn't matter right now. What matters is, I see you now. And you got much more moxie than I ever gave you credit for. I've been wrong to judge you unkindly since we met. Which is what, like, like maybe a minute ago? Miss? Mabel. The name's Mabel. Are you married, Angus? Uh, no, ma'am. But I'm engaged to the most wondrous human that I've ever met. And her father? Handsome son of a bitch, ain't he? What? Uh, uh, well, I, I, I mean, I, I guess. It's not a guessing game, I'm sure he is. You know, I just, I just never understood why he never took a shine to me. Maybe he stupidly thought that you marrying my, his daughter. You were trying to replace him. And you know, uh, what with his poor wife taken ill by the pox a few years earlier, maybe he was, he was scared he'd be left all alone. Wow. How could you possibly know all of that? It's a gift. Some call it woman's intuition. Let me ask you something. If he were standing right here, right now, what would you say to him? Well, I would say, Roy. You handsome son of a bitch, start with flattery. It helps with future in-laws. Um, so I'd, I'd say, Roy, n not only do I, I think that you are a handsome, handsome son, of a, son of a bitch. But I, I just want you to know that I, I could never compete with you. And, and I, I just hope you know how much I respect you. If, if I can ever be half the husband to my Charlotte that you've been a father, then I, I'll die knowing that I got it right. You're going to get that chance, I promise you. for inspiration. I told you I got a gift, otherworldly, you might say. 